Hey guys, it's Tess Whitehurst, and this week I have a card reading for you as usual from my Magic of Flowers Oracle deck. So this is for the week of November 13th, 2017. And for Monday, Tuesday, first part of Wednesday, we have Dahlia, which is Embrace the Shadow. So noticing how she's compassionately holding herself at her heart and her belly. It's this loving, this week it's this loving assessment of where we might be out of balance. So the moons in Virgo moving to Libra, which is the perfect time for us just to get clear. It doesn't have to be self-criticism, -critic doesn't have to be harsh. It's just this loving awareness that we're always in flux and there's there can be areas where we might want to come into greater balance. So just getting honest, embracing the shadow, looking into where we could bring more balance. For the second part of Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, we have Foxglove, which is Summon Your Courage. And this is perfect. This is These are the last, the last half a day and two days of the moon cycle and the message from foxglove is to get clear on this week it's to get clear on where uh any sort of like patterns mental patterns that we want to break free of so maybe this is anxiety maybe this is limiting self-talk and not just to notice but to intervene. And we can intervene by calling on angels, calling on divine support, shifting our inner monologue through things like affirmations. And maybe we have to do this again and again and again. Maybe we notice all day that our mind goes back to this anxiety or self-criticizing monologue. And then we just again and again, every time we notice it, shift call on divine support, shift into a positive affirmation. Okay, so just letting those old patterns go these last two days of the moon cycle. Then for the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, we have dandelion, which is make a wish. And that really couldn't be any more perfect for the new moon, which is early Saturday morning. And then Sunday, same energy in effect. So the message specifically from Dandelion this week is to tune in to specifically what you want to manifest. Specifically. The universe wants you to know that the universe wants to grant your desire very specifically. So what is it exactly that you want? When you set your intention, be honest. N now is not the time to compromise. Really get clear on what makes your heart sing with joy when you imagine it while you're setting your intentions and then clearly state them in the present tense as if they're already true. Best way to set intentions at the new moon and always. Okay, so that's your card reading for this week. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.